Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my show. Today I shall be reviewing the GSO 6 inch F4 Newtonian astrograph. An astrograph is uh, like a regular telescope but uh, the design has been optimized uh, to uh, use cameras for taking beautiful uh, photos of, of the celestial objects like uh, nebulae, galaxies, clusters, planets, uh, whatever uh, the user might uh, find fancy. Now we shall have a look at the uh, some of the components of the telescope. Okay everyone, this is the 6 inch uh, F4 uh, Newtonian astrograph. Some of you may notice that it says Ritchie Christian uh, on the stickering, uh, which is absolutely wrong. Uh, the seller must have made a mistake while uh, uh, creating labels for the telescope. Um, from the outset, it is uh, a very small uh, telescope physically um, but it uh, has an aperture of uh, 152 mm and a focal length of uh, 600 mm um, as shown on the labeling it's not a Ritchie Christian uh, I assure you um, first of all uh, we shall have a look at this uh, focuser uh, the focuser is a standard uh, GSO uh, Crayford type focuser um, one of the screws is missing. Um, now this focuser uh, is modified because uh, as you can see it has a steel track. Um, there you go, when I turn the focuser knob the steel track is uh, visible very clearly. The focuser is a dual speed focuser. Um, it has a rough adjustment, the silver part and the fine adjustment which is the um, black knob there. Just loosen the axis. On the other side, the focuser uh, obviously is branded GSO. It also has uh, a scale so that you know you can uh, at least memorize uh, the position of your uh, focusing so that uh, when you use it uh, time and again, you don't have to sit and wait for focus. You can come approximately close to the actual focus point. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, the draw tube. Uh, focus knob is right there. Now I shall open the lid of the telescope to show you all what's it like on the inside. As you can see um, the telescope is uh, coated with uh, matte black paint on the inside. However, unlike the GSO uh, Ritchie Christian uh, astrographs, uh, this uh, optical tube uh, does not come with any internal baffling but that's absolutely fine. The secondary mirror, uh, we can see that it's placed quite a bit inside, probably about 5 inches uh, inside, which is nice. Um, you won't have that much external light falling onto the main mirror. The telescope also came with a GSO um, 8x50 finder scope. Um, it's nice and uh, well coated. Um, I don't use that as a, a guide scope. Um, I have another uh, 8x50 sky watcher which I use as a finder guider and uh, that's quite sufficient. This uh, telescope has uh, plenty of uh, back focus um, which is really nice because uh, for uh, bringing the cameras into focus uh, we require uh, ample uh, back focus and uh, I'm able to focus my QHY9 and my DSLR both uh, which is really nice. I also use a GSO uh, coma corrector which works beautifully with this telescope. Um, so I think uh, overall uh, the GSO 6 inch F4 is extremely affordable uh, instrument for the budding astrophotographer. I mean, we have seen some really wonderful uh, images uh, being taken through this instrument. Even though it's small, it's still very much capable of uh, capturing some incredible images of the night sky. Um, so this is uh, something that I have used to capture uh, Horsehead Nebula this season. Um, the photo is uh, visible uh, now. Okay, um, some of you may have uh, questions regarding the collimation of the 
um, GSO 6 inch F4 uh, Newtonian astrograph but uh, let me assure you it is a breeze I mean uh, you don't have to worry because uh, um, it's really really easy the, there are screws uh, at the back of the telescope spring loaded ones um, you can adjust them very easily because it's really smooth the secondary middle adjustment is not really required uh, better not touch it um, worst cases you can just adjust it easily it also has three screws um, I use the GSO um, laser collimator which I believe is sufficient um, for uh, adjusting the collimation. So for those of you who want to buy this uh, telescope, I would uh, highly recommend uh, this telescope because it's affordable. I mean uh, some of us who really struggle to get a really good telescope, I think this telescope is really really up there and uh, very reachable. So. Thank you for watching my show and uh, I'll see you next time.